Hello everyone, my name is Harsh Angra and I'm very much happy and excited to start with this certification that is AZ104, we also call AZ104 certification. Previously, we recognized this certification as AZ103, but now Microsoft is currently changing their plans and the new certification code is 104. Obviously, it doesn't matter whether you're following AZ103 or 104, both actually leads to uh, you the Microsoft Azure uh, Administrator Associate certification. So guys, uh, before to begin and to before to understand that what kind of topics we are going to cover in this particular certification, I would like to really thank every one of you who actually subscribes the channel. Because of your support, your love, and your comment, I uh, really decided to begin with the AZ104 certification right now because previously <laughs> I do have a plan to start with this, but not right now, not immediately. I was thinking, how about this first? Uh, let's finish a couple of 50 to 60 different videos on AZ900 uh, and then I will begin with AZ104. But I, I heard the feedback and uh, I saw some people directly contacted me and they said, hey Hirsch, we already have fundamental knowledge and we already give the examination of AZ900, but uh, we would really like to know and to gather more information, more understanding on Azure platform. So why don't you start with AZ104? So <laughs> here I am guys, and uh, we will definitely will learn together. That's my always motive. And I really request every one of you to engage your peers, your teammates to gather these knowledge together. All right, guys, now let's begin and uh, let's try to understand first that what kind of topics and what kind of level we are going to cover in AZ104 certification from now on. So begin with very first thing that, uh, as I mentioned previously, it was uh, introduced as AZ103, but now the new code for Azure Administrator Associate Certification R is AZ or AZ104. Don't be confused in that. It doesn't matter whether you are following AZ103 from somewhere or whether you're following AZ104. The content of these certifications are remains same. The only difference is the code has been changed. That's all. Now, to know more about it and to understand that what kind of topics we have, uh, I would like to share with you some of the information that what kind of level we are going to cover in this uh, particular series. So guys, uh, in AZ900, uh, we actually covered level 100, which has just the basic concepts, basic understanding, and very basic idea that how we actually set up our environment in Azure. But as I mentioned in AZ900 that I will cover this later, I will cover that later, is because I really want you to go step by step so that you can learn uh, in a proper way and you won't forget the things once you start deploying for your organization or you start building your infrastructure by your own. So guys, uh, to understand more about this certification that is AZ104, uh, I, I prepared this particular picture which is right in front of you. And in this one, I categorize this into five different parts. So start with here, once you begin or think that, hey, let's begin and learn AZ104. The very first thing you need to understand that you must be completed AZ, uh, AZ900 certification because this is a must. If you don't have the basic knowledge, I don't think so. It will be really much quick and helpful for you to start deploying because in this one, the concepts are there. Obviously, I will recap. I will give you the brief idea. But you know, there are a few things which we usually covered in AZ900 may not repeat in this AZ104 because the whole uh, idea here to learn about this certification is just do the practical do understanding of the infrastructure and of course go deep dive inside that so it's not like we will uh, just talk about a very basics first and then uh, go to the little bit advanced level i will start with a recap obviously and i will give you some uh, glimpse that what is the meaning of this and what are the structure for this particular topic but i will not cover much more in deeper except we will go much more deeper in the practical area I just want to make this clear out so that you won't be confused what, uh, once you are following uh, AZ104 certification with me. All right, guys, uh, so basically in this uh, series, we will cover five different things or topics. 
Number one, we will talk about Microsoft identity and governance. Basically, it's all about Active Directory, not the on-premises one. We are going to talk about Azure Active Directory. Obviously, it has a separate certification, but uh, I will try to touch as much as options I, can, uh, I could in this one and try to at least give you the clear idea and the better understanding that how Azure Active Directory works and how you can manage all the users' objects within the same Active Directory in Azure, obviously. <laughs> obviously, in this uh, part, we will also cover Azure subscription, which is very, very, very important for you, especially in terms of managing the cost for the organization. I can tell you guys from my experience that, yeah, absolutely, it, it is fun. It is really a, a kind of, you know, uh, I got a smile on my face whenever I just uh, create some uh, resources within Azure. But uh, after creation of resources, my next question always in my mind is, hey, does it actually, uh, you know, create any hamper on my credit or means how much money actually I'm spending by creating these resources? It's a big thing. So uh, these kind of topics we will cover obviously in this first first part and related permissions as well because uh, the companies are not just creating one subscription. They may have multiple tenants. They may have multiple subscriptions uh, created. So we will talk about that more in this particular uh, part. Then, uh, then we will go to the next one, uh, which is uh, implementation and the managing storage. So uh, I think you are also following my another uh, series about the Microsoft Azure storage. Yeah, but most of the things is covered in this one as well, but uh, we will talk about a little bit more options like security, like permissions, all sort of thing in this one. So yeah, it's all about storage. The next one we have is uh, deploy and manage compute resources. I have heard that there's one uh, uh, very important guy, I must say, because he raised a very good question that, hey, Hirsch, please tell us about the resources, how we can create, why we need to create, what are the purposes of these resources? So guys, we will cover those resources in this compute resource area. Because in this area, we will have multiple different topics, which we are covering right now in AZ900. But as I said, we are like going into the theoretical part and try to show you that how you can configure. But don't think I'm telling you in-depth uh, information about those practical which we are doing in AZ900. So to get in-depth knowledge, you have to follow AZ104 certification with me. So in this compute area, we will talk about virtual machines, how we are managing, how we are controlling. Of course, we will talk about the containers, the web applications. It's all covered in this part. After that, we will go into further into the networking, which we uh, actually covered that how we can, how we can configure uh, virtual networking, or what are these virtual networks, what are VNets, what about load balancing, uh, how you are actually managing your uh, infrastructure if you need to deploy public access or you just want a private access. I mean, lots of thing about the network. Indeed, uh, I must say that if you already have a knowledge about uh, Cisco certification or if you have already gone through the basic uh, networking concepts from Comptia, I think it's going to be really, really quick and easy for you. But if you never uh, worked on these certifications or at least uh, gathering knowledge about networking, don't worry. I will try my level best to give you from basics to advanced level information so that by watching these videos, it will be much more uh, easier for you to understand how you can start deploying your networks for the organization. Yeah, indeed, one last thing I would like to cover in this virtual networking that, yeah, uh, we have less work now because we don't need to configure the real time, uh, you know, network devices. But yes, it is also uh, very important that how you actually are configuring or allowing permissions, allowing port numbers, blocking port numbers, and lots of other, you know, uh, entertaining part. <laughs> Why I call it entertaining? Because I love to play with the network part. So, but don't worry, we will cover that in details and I will show you uh, how we can do that with step-by-step -step instructions to advanced level. The last one we have is monitor and backup Azure resources. Yes, guys, there are two important and major topics we will cover in the last uh, part. One, how you are managing 
uh, which of course managing will be covered uh, uh, previously in these all four uh, different parts, but how you are actually managing and monitoring these old resources, that's a very, very important task for any administrator who is actually managing the infrastructure within Azure. So I will guide you that what are the resources you can use from Azure to monitor your different kind of resources like resource group, like virtual machines, like Azure backup, like how your uh, subscription has been deployed, what are the meaning of tags, how you're using it. I mean, lots of things we will cover. So don't worry. That's the first thing. And after that, uh, we also have a very, very important part because, you know, uh, uh, I have heard that many users or consumers are actually confused about the Microsoft Azure Cloud because they think they have already deployed their resources in cloud, so they don't need to worry about the backups. Uh, <laughs> so guys, I would like to clarify one thing very clear here. Yes, you are actually deploying your infrastructure in Microsoft Azure, but what Microsoft is giving you, they are giving you the power to use their infrastructure to deploy your infrastructure on cloud. But it doesn't mean that Microsoft is also taking backups of whatever the resources without your intentions or without your uh, knowledge. So I would like to clarify once again, very, very much clear that if you have actually deployed your infrastructure in Azure, you have to take the backups of your resources. If you do not take the backup, if anything goes wrong, you're done. You are done. That's it. You are not able to recover from with the help of Microsoft until unless your resources are not purged or still exist in garbage collection. What is this garbage collection purge? <laughs> we will talk about this in uh, managing compute resources, but now let's avoid it. So basically uh, in, the, in a backup part, we will cover two topics, which is my expertise area. So one, we will cover Azure backup, which has a VM backup. We have Azure storage files backup, we have a storage account, not a backup, but yeah, there's a feature I will share with you. We have a SQL backup. We have SAP HANA backup. We have, uh, you know, uh, uh, what other, yeah, on-premises backups as well. So lots of things we are going to cover. And the last one is Azure Site Recovery, which is a great, great way uh, in terms of business continuity. Obviously, uh, from the traditional way, you can take a backup, but if anything goes wrong, you need to recover your VM. And during that time, you need uh, a downtime actually. But if you don't want to follow or you don't have any criteria about the downtime and you need resources as fast as possible, I think the, uh, the good uh, way is to deal with the Azure site recovery. And we will cover in this VMware to Azure, which is people really want to protect their VMware resources uh, in case they are running their resources on premises. We have second one, Hyper-V. If you are running a Hyper-V or let's say Hyper-V clusters, uh, with the help of uh, SCVMM, which is Virtual Machine Manager. We will cover that topic, how you can protect uh, using Azure Site Recovery. Then we have a physical server, like let's say you are not using uh, Hyper-V, you are not using uh, VMM or VMware. You simply have a physical machines and you would like to use Azure Site Recovery to protect. How you can do that, we will cover in this uh, topic. And then we have Azure to Azure resources as well. In case you have uh, Azure VM running and you still need business continuity in different paired region. Remember, we covered in AZ 900. So these all topics actually, guys, we will cover in this uh, certification. And as I said, we will not just cover the basic concept and we will not just uh, cover that how we can do it. I will also try to show you level 200 to 300 troubleshooting as well, which is a very, very important and it will make you skilled engineer if you are uh, you know, uh, managing Azure resources. So yeah, guys, I mean, uh, this is all stuff I would like to give you as an introduction and would like to mention that we will cover. And I'm actually, as I said, I'm happy and I'm very much excited uh, to learn and to uh, share this knowledge with you with the step-by-step -step instructions. So guys, uh, yeah, I mean, that to be all for now because I don't want to speak much more about it because we already covered we, what, uh, what we are going to talk about uh, in this particular series. So yeah, just stay there with me and try to learn as much as you can do. And don't forget, practice. If you don't do practice, 
then uh, yeah, it would be a little bit difficult for you to remember everything which we are going to cover in AZ900 and AZ104 series. Once we complete this series, we will also go to the architect level, which is level 300 to 400. But at the moment, let's focus on this and try to learn about Microsoft Azure Administrator Associate Certification. <laughs> I actually just uh, uh, make sure that you will remember the name of the certification. And yeah, before uh, we just wrap up for the day, I would like to mention that in case uh, you have any confusion about AZ103 and AZ104, if you go to the Microsoft Azure website and to find out the certification, in AZ103, you can find this information visible now because what does it mean? That Microsoft is actually coming up with a new exam code or the version of the exam, which will be available uh, from April 2. And yes, guys, uh, just to make it clear, right now, the information is available and you can learn and go through all the modules which we will cover, actually we will also cover in this, but if you would like to uh, learn from the Microsoft end, the information is right there uh, on the website. And one last thing, uh, in case you have a plan to give the examination, I would rather suggest you to book AZ-103, please go to AZ-104 and book your exam after learn uh, all the topics and concepts. Uh, especially uh, managing and deploying the infrastructure in Azure. All right, guys, so let's wrap up this video and I hope you find this uh, video informative and you find this sharing information also helpful for you to at least uh, understand that what kind of topics we are going to cover in AZ-104 certification. So once again, my purpose is to share these training videos that you guys can learn as much as you can and you can do better in your job roles. And if you would like to switch your jobs from one organization to another or within the same, uh, these certifications and the knowledge uh, which I'm actually trying to share with you will be absolutely, uh, will be very much helpful. So guys, stay tuned, stay learning with me and I'll do one thing, I will meet you in the next video. For right now, let's wrap up for the day. And just for your reference that the next video is all about Azure subscription. So let's talk about and let's start learning a master level uh, in Azure. And of course, not in a basic area, but in a little bit advanced level. So I would highly recommend to keep following my AZ-900 certification to gather concepts and to clear your doubts and questions, but if you would like to know how to deploy the infrastructure within depth of knowledge, I think uh, this certification is good for you. And uh, the last thing <laughs> you will say, Harsh, how many times you will say last thing, wrap up and all that? Sorry. <laughs> so actually last thing I would like to mention here that in this uh, uh, particular series for AZ-104, we will cover uh, just two to 300 uh, level, which actually includes the troubleshooting. For level 300 to 400, we have architect level or expert level certification, which we will cover after finish up AZ-900 and AZ-104. All right, guys, finally, let's wrap up for the day and I will see you in the next video. Till then, Take care of yourself. It's a COVID-19 situation, guys. Please take care of your health and your family. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace.